Android Studio version 4.2 is now available for download on the Stable channel. This new version of Android Studio contains improvements to the Database Inspector, Layout Inspector, System Trace, and Apply Changes. It also adds new functionality, including an upgrade assistant for the Android Gradle plugin, support for Save Arcs Gradle plugin, app signing configuration per variant, and the ability to deploy to multiple devices with a single click. Android Studio's Database Inspector is a debugging tool that lets you interact with SQLite databases while debugging your app. With Android Studio 4.2, we've made the Inspector Editor surface larger and resizable to help you write and execute your custom SQL statements. Additionally, we now provide a history of your previous queries so that you can quickly run them again as needed. We've also added the ability to keep inspecting your app's databases after a process disconnects, making it easier to debug your app after a crash. On the UI debugging side, Layout Inspector is a powerful tool that displays a detailed view of your running app's layout. Layout Inspector provides real-time updates as you interact with your app. You can also disable real-time updates to see specific layout snapshots. With Android Studio 4.2, you can manually refresh the UI snapshot by first disabling the Live Updates option and then clicking on the Refresh button to manually update the layout and its details in the Tool window. In the CPU profiler, the System Trace feature now includes new metrics for analyzing app performance. All trace events of a selected thread are now in a dedicated tab. In the Display section, the App Surface Buffer Queue is now tracked to help you understand the state of image buffers as they move between the different Android graphics components. In addition to CPU scheduling data, we also included CPU frequency by core. This shows how hard each core is working and may give you an idea of which ones are the big or little cores in modern mobile processors. The new process memory section shows the amount of physical memory currently in use by your app. See more details in the link attached in the video description below. We've also worked on improving apply changes, which now allows you to add static final primitive fields by clicking either apply code changes or apply changes and restart activity. In addition, you can add resources by clicking apply changes and restart activity. If you want to see your app running across multiple device configuration at the same time, you can now deploy your app to multiple devices by selecting the multiple devices option in the deploy configuration. Just select the devices you want, click OK, and then deploy your app. SafeArgs is a Gradle plugin that generates simple object and builder classes for type safe navigation and access to any associated arguments. With Android Studio 4.2, it includes IDE support for auto-completion for directions, args, and the various builder classes, support for both Java and Kotlin safe args plugins, and navigation from source to XML. With Android Studio 4.2, we're introducing the Android Gradle plugin Upgrade Assistant to help you preview changes before upgrading it in your project. It will propose you to upgrade the plugin, but also Gradle itself. Android Gradle plugin 4.2 introduces some changes. Java programming language version 8 by default, which provides access to a number of newer language features, including Lambda expressions, method references, and static interface method. New resource compiler, which potentially improves build performance, especially on Windows machines. APK v3 and APK v4 signing formats are now supported, and behavior change for Gradle properties files. It will no longer be possible to override Gradle properties from subprojects. In other words, if you declare a property in a Gradle properties file in a subproject instead of the root project, it will be ignored. Android Gradle plugin 4.2 uses bundle tool 1.0.0, 1.0, 1.0, 1.0, 1.0, 1.0, 1.0, 1.0, 1.0, 1.0, 1.0, 1.0, 1.0, 1.0, 1.0, 1
which introduces a behavior change for apps using feature modules. Any feature module specified as dist install time that's not explicitly marked as dist removable will become non-removable by default. This new setting optimizes fusing of install time modules with the base module, potentially improving app performances for some apps. For more information on this setting, see the documentation for the dist removable tag in the documentation for feature module manifest. It is now possible to enable or disable app signing in Android Gradle plugin per variant. This example demonstrates how to set app signing per variant using the onVariant methods in either Kotlin or Groovy. Available in version 1.0 of the command line tools, R8 Retrace is a standalone tool for obtaining the original stack trace of an obfuscated stack trace. You can download this package with the SDK manager which installs R8 Retrace in your Android SDK folder slash command line dash tools. The Android SDK home environment variable is now deprecated and has been replaced by Android prefs root. For more information about emulator environment variables, you can check out the link attached in the video description below. Enjoy Android Studio 4.2 and remember that we are listening to your feedback on our bug tracker. For next versions of Android Studio, we're changing the version naming scheme and the upcoming one is Arctic Fox. Check out early builds on the Canary channel. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to get notified of new content and share this video with your friends and your colleagues. See you soon.